You and Chris did mention the pollen. It's flaring up spring allergies, part of the reason I sound like this right now. And the pollen is overwhelming this whole part of the country. The rain, as Chris mentioned, gave us a break here at home, washing away some of that pollen, but it's far from over. WIFF News Force Corey Davis has a few tips on how you can make it through this spring bloom. You can see it, sometimes even taste it. Pollen is everywhere. Usually my eyes are itchy and I get like a runny nose. This time of year when the stuff starts flying and it ends up landing on the cars, I, I get the congestion and I feel a little irritation in the throat. The rain provided a little relief, clearing out some of the pollen in popular outdoor areas like Falls Park in Greenville. So all of this pollen being washed away right now is probably a good sign for some of you allergy sufferers out there. But doctors are warning that you shouldn't skip on taking your medicine right now. A local doctor says this is a bad allergy season, but there are ways to keep your symptoms in check. Some of the most common things is avoidance. So what you would do is, of course, run the air condition on recirculate in the car, try to limit your time outside, especially on dry, windy days when the tree pollen is very high. Many cities in our region are on the list of the most challenging places to live with spring allergies. Columbia is 13th. Winston-Salem is the highest ranking city out of North Carolina at 24th, Charleston 28th, Greenville 32nd, and Augusta tops the list in Georgia, ranked at 33rd in the country. Even those patients who don't have allergies can have a lot of irritant effects just from the significant amount of the tree pollen. Nasal spray and over-the-counter medicine could work, while others may need to see a doctor when normal medication isn't enough. Doctors say a big part of living here is being prepared for allergy season. Corey Davis, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.